Management Accounting 14B Service Department Cost Allocation. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep, and our LinkedIn group. I have this set up on a separate document, and here's our scenario. We have production. We have two production departments printing and finishing, so they happen to be making posters at this company. And we have three service departments that support the production departments, quality control, material handling, and administration. The key to this whole process is that all service costs should be allocated out to production. All service costs should be allocated out to production because by definition a service cost means that you are providing a service to somebody else in the company. You're not directly involved in producing the product or service. So that's why I put that at the top of the page. Very important to remember. Because we have an extra hitch or an extra step in this example. And the extra step is, is that we have one of the service department's administrative costs that get allocated to quality control and materials handling, which is not unusual, and it happens in this problem. So the first step is, is that administrative costs get allocated based on employees and other departments. So what I do is, I take a percent of the total employees, for the four departments that exclude administration. I add them up over here and you'll see that the total adds up to 100%. So I know I've allocated 100% of the, between all the employees. So, for example, in the printing department, if I click on the percentage, we're going to take 42 we're going to take 43 25 of 43 or 58% of the total employees for all four departments are in the printing department. So then when I allocate cost down here, I have a line that says administration reapportionment of cost. So for printing, for example, if I click on the cell for the dollars that went to printing, we're taking the $42,000 in green from administrative and we are allocating 58% of that printing. But because quality control and materials handling had employees, quality control and materials handling are also allocated some of the admin costs. So for example, 42,000 times the 7% of the employees that are in quality control means that about $2,900 is allocated to quality control. So what I did at the bottom of the page is put a note that the administrative cost allocated to quality control and materials handling must be added to the overhead costs for these departments. So up at the top, I added those two amounts to come up with new cost totals for quality control and materials handling. And if I go back to my note, it says, the new totals, which I just showed you above, are allocated to print printing and finishing, which we're going to see in a minute below left. As a result, all costs are allocated out of the service department. So the first line of our allocation is we allocate based on number of employees, and if I add across, all the allocations sum up to 42,000, and 42,000 was the total amount that I was allocating out of administration. My next step Materials handling, we allocate materials handling based on requisitions they handle in printing and finishing. Here are the requisitions, 73% printing, the remainder to finishing. So when we allocate that second step, quality control, we're multiplying the quality control amount times 69% for printing. Let me do undo, sorry.
the 10,368, the remaining goes to finishing. So now we've allocated <coughs> materials handling, which was 11,907. And note that that is the total, including what came in from administration, 3,907. So 11,907 came out of materials handling, and I added that across to ensure that the amounts that went to printing and finishing totaled what came out of materials handling. Quality control, if I go to the footnote at the bottom, I see the quality control is based on number of employees in printing and finishing only. I see that in red, employees without the service departments just for printing and finishing are these two numbers in red. So if I go to the allocation for quality control for printing, for example, and I click on the cell, I see that the 14,930, the total with what came in from administration, 14,930 in blue times 69% in green for printing, ends up being the printing dollars for quality control. The 80, I misspoke, the 8,660 was the printing allocation for materials handling. The 10,368 is the allocation of printing for quality control. So then what I do is I do a few checks. I add what went to printing in total for all three allocations, what went to finishing for all three, and I add that across. And I see that it adds up to 62,000. That agrees, it says also top right, that agrees to the total service cost for those three departments. So I know that all the service costs got allocated out. And another check is, I know all the materials handling and all the quality control got allocated out because these two numbers, 11,907 and 14,930, agree to these two totals. So I know all the service costs got allocated out. The other step that we had to do in this problem was the overhead absorption rate, which says printing costs are allocated based on direct labor hours. Finishing department costs are allocated based on machine hours. So I took the totals from above, right here for printing and finishing. And I did the total cost in blue divided by the activity rate, labor hours for printing in green, and I got an absorption rate per hour. I did the same thing for finishing. Cost in blue divided by machine hours in green, which is the activity level, and that's the amount of overhead I'm going to apply based on these levels of activity. The last step in the problem is, let's come up with a desired price based on a certain markup. So, for this poster that we're making, we need a quarter of an hour of labor hours. We need two minutes of machine time. So two divided by 60 gives us that amount of time in hours, 0.03. If I multiply the absorption rate times 25, absorption rate per hour times the 0.25, there's my absorption rate for the printing. Let me click on that. Oh, I did that already. Let me undo. So these are the absorption rates per hour from above. What I apply to production in blue, that's the step that I skipped, is the 25.25 labor hours times the absorption rate. I'm going to apply about 29 cents for that poster of printing costs. And I'm going to apply two minutes times my rate per hour, and I'm going to apply about two cents of overhead cost for the finishing. So these are the overhead costs that get applied. I add them across, and I get my indirect cost for overhead, about 31 cents. I add the direct costs, maybe for materials and labor that were in the question, and I add that up. That's my total cost of the prod product about $1.51. I'm going to have a 
percent markup, so I multiply total cost in blue times 50 percent, 75 cent markup, so my desired price for the product is the sum of the total cost plus the markup. My desired selling price at a 50 percent markup is about $2.26 per item. So what we've done in this problem is we allocated all the service costs out even though we originally allocated from administration to two other service departments first. We verified that all the service costs got allocated out to printing and finishing. We came up with an overhead absorption rate based on these levels of activity and came up with a rate per hour for printing and finishing. And then we applied printing and finishing overhead costs based on this amount of time needed to get our total indirect cost. We added our direct costs. We got total costs. We added a 50% markup and we got a selling price. That's the end of Management Accounting 14B. We have additional videos and spreadsheets that are not on YouTube. We now call them the video textbooks. You can find that on the website. 30 minutes to an hour that we've grouped together. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd, STL, all one word. You can email for a complete list of videos on YouTube. For live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and chat sessions, here's the website, my email, and my phone number. Thanks very much and we'll see you next time.